Welcome to our comprehensive video tutorial on Climb Pro, a powerful feature found on Garmin's Edge devices that will revolutionize your cycling experience. Climb Pro is a feature on the Edge that will identify and classify significant climbs based on the needs of cyclists whilst they are navigating. It will provide the rider with key information about those climbs. Let's begin by ensuring that the Climb Pro feature toggle is activated on our Garmin Edge device before we explore how to read its information on the screen. This is how you activate Climb Pro. 1. Select the menu. 2. Select Activity Profiles. 3. Select a profile. 4. Select Climbs. 5. Toggled on. Now that you've turned on the Climb Pro feature, let's go step by step and understand what each piece of data on the screen means when you start your climb. At the start of a climb, the Climb Pro screen as shown below will appear automatically. As you are completing each climb segment, the profile of the climb will become more detailed. The information that the screen will display includes 1. The number of the climb including total climbs for the course. 2. The distance remaining in the climb. 3. The ascent remaining for the climb. 4. A chart showing the profile of the climb. A. The icon represents where you are currently on the climb. B. The icon represents the course virtual partner. C. The bracketed section below the chart represents the image of the climb being shown. 5. The average grade for the climb. 6. Two configurable data fields. When you are out of a climb, the Climb Pro feature will provide the following information. A. The total ascent. B. The total climb distance. C. All upcoming climbs. D. The remaining distance to each upcoming climb. E. The average gradient for each climb. F. The length of each climb. You can also select an upcoming climb from the list to view a more detailed profile for each upcoming climb. Now that you've turned on the Climb Pro feature, enjoy your rides and have a great time exploring on your Garmin Edge. For more help please go to support.garmin.com.